How can I help you? So I'm told. I've never actually met him, and I can't say I'm too upset about that fact. Seeing that he tried to have me killed as soon as he found out about me. A bit of both. My mother was an inhuman from the lost city of Orlan. After the Black Order decimated our colony to get to me, I had no choice but to flee here. Only legends, and none of them end well. If my father wants them so badly, though, I've got to believe some of them are true. Let's hope so. Until then, I have a patient to tend to. Somewhere safe. I'll try to rest and... No. Nowhere in Watalan is safe. I remember now. He's lost his twisted mind. Again. Oh, come now, cousin. <laughs> is that any way to talk about the new king of the Inhumans? <laughs> I'll use my armor to shield Gorgon from further damage. You focus on the Alpha Primitives. I should have known you were behind us, Maximus. Only you would dare betray our people. I am nothing if not predictable. Isn't that right, brother? Ah, the silent truth, as always. But I'll give you something to talk about. Just a minute. Imagination. It is time that someone with true vision took the throne. The Inhumans are the closest thing to a family I have now. I'm not a fighter, but I guess this is my battle now. This isn't the first time Maximus has tried to claim the throne from his brother. Not even close. The guy's a brilliant inventor, but he's never been quite right in the head. Still, not or not, he is family. We refuse to give up on him, even if he refuses to change his ways. <laughs> Yeah! 
Interesting change of pace. Your pathetic attempts to resist are almost adorable. What a joke! What a joke! What a joke! is about to expire. Over here. I can generate enough amber to protect you. Stay close to me. Your mind is mine! Let's I break it without me. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ezio. Is it clear uh. now who wears the crown? What now? Yes, he has proven himself. At least for now. If Thanos' blood truly runs through his veins, we would be wise to keep a close eye on him. Especially... No. And that may be one of the few reasons I'm still alive. Before you say anything, just a quick reminder. Maximus is only related to me through marriage. Now you know why I was back on Earth with you guys when all of this went down. I can't speak for the rest of my family, but I'll be with you until the end. Dear Mrs. Wilson, please excuse Kamala from her AP English homework. She was busy stopping a mad king from overthrowing a moon city. No, but I'm starting to learn that there are more important things in life than perfect grades. my parents. Even if existence ends, they'll still find a way to ground me. Fascinated to find out what I've formulated, friend? I scrutinized a sample of the amber that Thane generated to seal Gorgon's wounds earlier. Not only is it seemingly impenetrable once it encases an object, it also suspends the very laws of physics themselves. Anything trapped inside essentially becomes frozen in time. Not just the artifact itself, mind you, but any energy it generates, no matter how formidable. Precisely. If Thane could help to entrap the final stone as well, we might yet keep them away from his dearest daddy. At least until we can devise a more permanent solution. After the excruciating events we've just endured, how could he possibly resist? The kingdom of Adelon is in your debt. But Maximus was our problem to deal with, not yours. I suppose not. Yet we were less than hospitable upon your arrival. You owed us nothing.
Truth told, we Inhumans never ask to be heroes. When we fight, it is for the safety of our people and nothing more. What can I do for you? Maybe. But if the Black Order is out there searching for it, having me on your side might put you in even more danger. I can't take that chance. Well, when you put it that way... Right. No pressure. This is Winter Soldier, broadcasting on the Avengers Emergency Frequency. Again. This is Winter Soldier, broadcasting on the Avengers Emergency Frequency. Again. If anyone is listening out there, my mission to infiltrate AIM was a success. At least until Modok and his nerd squad somehow recovered a bona fide Infinity Stone. I wasn't about to wait around and find out what they plan to do with it. So I blew my cover and grabbed their rock. I'm approaching a secure location with a stone in hand, but it won't take long for those eggheads to figure out where I'm headed and try to take it back. So, if you can hear this, Avengers, lock on to these coordinates and swing on by. It'd be a shame to be stuck in paradise all alone. These are the coordinates Bucky transmitted. So, where is he? Can I help you, soldier? Back on Earth, in the African nation of Wakanda, thanks to our pal Lockjaw. It's a risk we have to take if we want to recover the final Infinity Stone before the Black Order. Good question. He should have landed nearby, unless something forced him to change his plans. Hey, got something on your mind? Of course, but Bucky's one of the few heroes tough enough to wield Cap's shield. Other than me, that is. He can handle himself just fine, even when things go south. I've got a psychic rapport with birds. And lucky for us, this jungle is full of them. I'm hearing a lot of chatter coming from the pathway to Birninzana, the Wakandan capital city. My feathered friends have never led me wrong before. We don't have time to waste. Hard to say. I've never seen James miss a rendezvous before. If he isn't here, he must be somewhere very important. Or very dangerous. Clearly you haven't met the man. He survived Russian prison camps ten times more deadly than this. For him, Wakanda is a tropical vacation. Unless... He's made more enemies than allies over the years. If my instincts about this are right, we'd better find him before they do. Earth. I wasn't sure I'd ever come back. Of course. While I appreciate the Inhumans' hospitality, the moon isn't exactly the warmest of places. There's a fine line between a safe haven and a prison. I'm worried about that no matter where I am. There's only one way to make those nightmares end. We have to stop Thanos for good. 
I hope so. I've got the other five contained, at least for now. But I won't be able to hold them forever. You lead the way. I'll gladly follow. We've got company. Aim must have followed back to here. I am told that AIM only worships science. But if any of you believe in the goddess, now would be the time to start praying. My fury will rain down upon you. Yeah. <laughs> 
And we couldn't have done it without you, Aurora. <laughs> the storm is unleashed! 